When we feel the peace and the love in our heart, we have an abundance to give and to extend. And it touches people beyond those that we can even perceive. It, it brings ripples and, and radiates love and light to everyone. And it's, it's funny to think that we once believed that gifts had to be physical. Uh, even when we look at Christmas, the ego puts all the focus on physical gifts. Jesus is just smiling and laughing. He's like, no, no, it's the gifts are in your heart. And you have an endless supply, an endless su supply of miracles. And the more that you give them away, the more that you are aware that you have even more. So both the ego and the Holy Spirit agree on one thing, that you must have that which you give. And the ego says it's material and physical. And the Holy Spirit knows that the gift is in your heart and that you have an endless supply. So really they, even though they agree that you must have what you would give away, they disagree on the content of the gift. And there is really nothing holding you back from giving these beautiful gifts of the Spirit. Because by giving these gifts away, you strengthen them in your mind. So your prayer life is completely tied to your feeling of fulfillment. In the chamber of your own heart is where the gifts are found. It's where you receive them and where you give them. And that's why Jesus said 2,000 years ago, Blessed are the pure of heart, for they shall see God. He was giving us the greatest teaching that there is nothing more important than a pure heart.